हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज यूनिवर्सल लॉजिक गेट हेयर यू कैन सी आई हैव आई सी सेवन फोर जीरो जीरो दिस वन दिस आई सी सेवन फोर जीरो जीरो इज ए क्वाड टू इनपुट आई सी सो वी विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द पिन कन्फिगरेशन ऑफ दिस आई सी एंड वी विल मेट द बेसिक लॉजिक गेट्स विद दिस आई सी फर्स्ट यू कैन सी दिस वन इज ए फोर्टीन पिन आई सी एंड here you can see there is a notch or a u sign right from the u sign whenever you take any ic make sure the u sign will be in the left side okay and then the bottom of the u side this pin will be the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then it will go like u shape this way and then this pin will be number 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 okay so this one is a 14 pin ic and inside this ic we have four two input nand gates okay now let's see the pin configuration of this ic this one is just the internal circuit diagram of this 7400 ic here in this ic you can see total 40 number of pins this one is the pin 1 pin 2 and this goes to up to pin 40 you can see here the first pin and the second pin is a input of the first nand gate and number 3 pin is the output of this first nand gate similarly 4 and 5 is the input 6 is output 9 and 10 is the input and 8 is the output 12 and 13 is the input and 11 is the output and number 7 and number 14 this two pin is for the source voltage as you all know that every ic need some power supply so here pin 7 is a ground and pin 14 is a vcc vcc will be how much plus 5 volt and ground will be 0 volt okay now we already know the pin configuration of 7400 ic so let's check first this ic is working as a nand gate or not for the nand gate this is the symbol of the nand gate where this is a b and this one is y okay and we all know the truth table will be a b y 00 01 One zero one one, and the output will be one 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 zero. Let's see this IC will follow this truth table or not. So first we will check the first NAND gate. Then we will do the same thing for the second one, third one, fourth one. Okay. In your exam, whenever you get any IC, first check all of the gates are working well or not. and then you can construct your circuit to get the desired output you all know this one is the 5 volt voltage source i made this one in my last video okay so first turn on this voltage source and then whenever we start any practical we should measure the input voltage of this source so here you can see it's 5 volt let's start with this ic in the bed board you can see this one is the middle middle of the bed board right so first let's take this ic and put this one carefully okay so i already mount the ic in our bed board so first we need to give the input in pin 14 vcc and pin 7 that is ground so here we have some jumper wires so this one is the 5 volt so we put in the pin 14 and ground pin 7 okay the first thing is done now i need to check the first nand gate 
for the first NAND gate, the input is pin 1 and pin 2. So pin 1, this one is the input and I take another jumper wire and this one is pin 2. Okay, so this 2 will be the input of our NAND gate. To check the output, we can use the multimeter or we can use a LED. So here I will do both. First, I use a multimeter. Okay. And I will use this resistance and LED. So here I already made the circuit for the first NAND gate okay we all know for the NAND gate if I put 0 0 you can see here the LED is already turned on that means it's already one okay and you can see here the voltage is around 3.47 volt now if I just remove this LED you can see the voltage increased to 4.4 volt why as there is a current flow when i add the led if i take out the led and just connect the voltmeter at that time the circuit is open and we are just measuring the output voltage that means the multimeter will not take any current from the circuit so that's why the voltage is higher but when i connect the led at that time we have some current flow from the nand gate that's why the output voltage will be a little bit lower. You can see it's 3.4 volt. So first we already check for 0 and 0, A and B 0, 0, our output is 1. Okay. So here you can see for the NAND gate, truth table, 0, 0, we get 1. Even you can see here, if any of the input is 0, then output is 1. Right. So if I just take out this input, but the another input is still in zero you can see here the output is one in our class i already told you zero will be the uncontrolled input of a nand gate right if the one input of the nand gate is zero then the output will be always one here like we can see this one where you can connect this one in zero output is one or you can connect this one in one output is still one okay now the last condition is 1 and 1 and we all know that if the input is 1 and 1 a and b the output will be 0 right then i just connect it here so you can see here the both the input is 1 and 1 the output is 0 even in the multimeter also you can see the output is 0 okay so that means this nand gate is completely fine and working as a nand gate okay so this one satisfied our truth table. So first gate testing is done. Now go to the second one. We will do the similar thing. So now for the second NAND gate, the input is number 4, that means in this terminal and number 5. Okay. To check the output, I will just use the multimeter. So I connect it in the pin 6 and this one will go to the ground okay so first put one and one so you can see for the one and one the voltage is 0 0.132 that means it will be considered as a zero okay and now i will put this one to zero you can see the output is high if the any of the input is zero then output will be high if i move this one to zero also then also you can see the output is high okay so that means this gate is also working fine no problem in that one now testing the another two gate that means the 8 9 and 10 third gate so for the 8 9 and 10 the input will be number 9 and 10 the output is number 8 that means this one 
and the input is 10 and 9 okay so let's start again first the input is 0 0 you can see that for the input 0 0 the output is 1 now if I move to 0 1 or 1 0 still the output is 1 no problem but if I connect both the input to 5 volt then you can see the output is 0 that means the third git is also fine okay now go to the last one for the last one number 12 and 13 is the input and 11 is the output that means this one is the 14 13 12 and 11 so this one is the output and input will be this two okay so here this two is my input and connect this one first in one one output is zero and now move this one to zero here you can see the output is one and move this both of this one to zero zero you can see the output is one that means this NAND gate is completely fine and all of the NAND gate is working okay so now let's start our practical okay so let's focus on the ipad for the basic gate design first we have the and gate so for the and gate what we need to do the and gate symbol is this one okay and if this one a and b then output y equal to a b so we need to make this and gate by using the and gate what we can do just connect two and gate sorry just connect two and gate in series when this is a this is b then this will be a dot b bar and this is an and gate so it will be a dot b bar then bar so it will be a b so this if i make this circuit with two nand gate then this will be working as a and gate and what will be the truth table a b y 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that means it will be 0 0 0 1 so the output will be 1 only when both the input is high. So this will be our input. I connect it in the number 1 and 2. Okay. And the second NAND gate input should be short. That means our second NAND gate input will be 4 and 5. So the number 4 and number 5 will be short. And I need to connect the first output of the NAND gate to the second one input. Okay. Now the output will be pin 6. So here I will connect a resistance and the multimeter. resistance and connect the multimeter okay so the our circuit diagram is done now put the first input is 0 0 so connect both the input in 0 0 you can see the LED is turned off and the output is 0 0.132 that means it will be 0 okay now move this one to 1 0 you can see for the 1 0 also or 0 1 also the output is 0 but if I make both the input 1 
then you can see the output is 1 that means we already made the AND gate by using the NAND okay so that's all for this video in this video we have learned the basic pin configuration of a 7400 NAND IC and we show you how to check a 7400 NAND IC by checking the NAND gate truth table and after that we also show you how to make a AND gate by using the NAND IC. In our next video we will show you how to make a OR gate and a NOT gate by using the NAND IC or if you have any question regarding this video please write them in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next video.